This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. These are further pictures of the war that is being waged in New Guinea, in the almost impassable jungles of Papuas, on the coast and inland. Australian soldiers are living like this every day in a land where it's difficult enough to keep from dying of natural causes without the danger of bombs and bullets. Names like Milne Bay, Kokoda and Buna, and the Owen Stanley Mountains are familiar from many communicators. This is a picture of what those words mean. Precious food. Without that air supply, they could never keep going. When you eat a meal in these circumstances, even though it may not be up to the standards of the luxury hotel, when you eat a meal like this, it's really something to be thankful for. We're no longer without air support in the Far East. These are some of the young pilots and crews of the Royal Australian Air Force, whose job it is to staff the Japanese wherever they may be. They're doing a wonderful job. Those infantry are doing a big job too. They can seldom rest for long. Following up the retreating Jap, they found one of his tanks that had been hit by our anti-tank rifle fire. And this was the Japanese headquarters. Booty and debris discovered by our troops in the course of their advance included items ranging from small mountain guns to petrol tankers. and a special bulletproof vest. This was one of the invasion barges used by the Japanese and strafed by our pilots with marked effect. Prisoners brought in by the Australian patrols included men who had simply been left behind by their so-called comrades to die in the jungle. It must seem endless, this weary plodding onwards through the jungle trail, combining the duties of soldier and pack mule. With a 60-pound pack, a man can only advance for 20 minutes at a stretch in this climate. That's the limit of human progress in the Owen Stanley Mountains. So that every victory we have gained in Kokoda, in Buna, is a victory not only over a cunning and ruthless enemy, but also a victory over nature in her grimmest mood. 